I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Here is another excellent question which needs special attention. We will evaluate limit when x approaches 0 for square root of 2 minus square root of 1 plus cos x divided by sin square x. Now in my set of videos you will find some very typical examples. If you do them you should be doing well in your test. Now whenever you see this kind of a situation you should be reminded of the half angle formulas. So that is a key. So let's write down the half angle formulas first and then we'll try to solve this particular question. So what is cos x by 2 equals to? Well it is square root of 1 plus cos x over 2, right? Now similarly what is sin x by 2? Sin x by 2 is square root of 1 minus cos x over 2, correct? Now these are very important formulas to remember. Now from here you could see that 1 plus cos x within the square root could be written as square root 2 times cos x by 2. So in that case we get square root 2 in the numerator as common, correct? So I hope you understand what am I saying. I can actually cross multiply this as square root 2. So I could write this as square root 2 cos of x by 2 equals to square root of 1 plus cos x, clear? So that's what I'm going to do here. So I could rewrite uh, the equation as limit x approaches 0 and we have square root of 2 minus square root of 2 cos of x by 2. Now we have sine square x in the denominator. We could write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x. Now whenever you're talking about limit x approaches 0, you know cos of 0 is 1. So we'll try to get it into cos rather than sine. Sine of 0 is not is 0, so dividing by 0 is not defined. So that creates a problem. Okay. Now we have 1 minus cos square x in the denominator. We could actually take limit x approaches 0 for Square root 2 we could take common, right? So we get 1 minus cos x by 2 in the numerator. Now we'll write denominator as sum and product, product of sum and difference. I could write this as 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos x, clear? Now as you can see, 1 minus cos x I could get back to square root 2 sine x by 2 1 minus cos x. Do you see that part? Right. So you could rearrange. So I'll not convert this 1 minus cos x as uh, so if I have 1 minus cos x then it becomes 2 times sine square x by 2. Is that clear? So we'll just uh, run this on parallel so that we understand what type of substitutions are we doing and y, right? So, so this is what we are going to do here, right? This one, this time. Okay. So, it's a slightly complicated question. A lot of time you have to like get to x by 2 formula. That's the key, right? So, you get square root of 2, 1 minus cos x by 2 in the numerator. We don't worry about this term, since if I put x as 0, this will be 1 plus 1, that is fine. We are worried about that term, because 1 minus 1 is 0, and we cannot have 0 in the denominator. You understand, right? So we just keep 1 plus cos x as such. And here, 1 minus cos x will now be written as 2 times sine square x by 2. So now we have got sine square x by 2. Now again, we'll write this as difference and sum product, right? So we'll do this as limit x approaches 0. We have square root of 2, 1 minus cos x by 2 in the numerator. And in the denominator, this term is fine. We have 2 here, so that could cancel. Sine squared x by 2, 1 minus cos squared x by 2. Correct. Now that we know now. Okay, let me continue this side. So we get limit 
x approaches 0. Now we'll cancel this, writing 1 over square root 2 in the denominator like this, correct? So that cancels. And now we have 1 minus cos x by 2 in the numerator. And here we have 1 plus cos x times 1 minus cos now square x by 2 I could write as 1 minus cos x by 2 times 1 plus cos x by 2. Clear? Now finally we could now cancel these terms also. So we get 1 in the numerator. Uh, sorry I cancelled the wrong one. Okay what I'll do here is I'll make this positive and make this negative. Okay that's fine. Okay. So, 1 minus cos x by 2 cancels. In the denominator, we have 1 plus cos x and 1 plus cos x by 2. So, let's rewrite this. So, we have limit x approaches 0, 1 over square root 2. And here we have 1 over 1 plus cos x times 1 plus cos x by 2. Correct? Now, there is no problem in substituting 0 for x. So, we get 1 over square root 2 times 1 over 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. Clear? So that is 2 times 2 as 4. So we get 1 over square root 2 times 1 over 4, which you could also write this as square root 2 over 8, right? Rationalizing it. So the limit of this is basically equal to square root 2 over 8. Is that clear? So I'd like you to go through these steps and see how we have utilized that half angle formula in, in solving this particular question. Now that will give you a lot of tricks to do many similar type of difficult questions, right? This is not an easy question, but I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.